Okay, so very quickly, uh, this is the architecture of a VMware ESX server. And uh, you know, it's basically using the hosted monitor architecture, where you can see a virtual machine monitor and a guest operating system and its applications on top of it. And instead of the host OS, they have their own operating system, which they call the VM kernel, and they, which is managing all the uh, hardware for you. And uh, it also provides you, and it, I mean, they, they basically have something called a service console, which is an, a, another, you know, it's basically an, a Linux application running on top of it where the user can kind of control everything. Okay, so very similar to the picture I showed you before. Another architecture is a Zen architecture, which is again very similar. Uh, you have a Zen hypervisor at the bottom, and you, are having mul you have multiple operating systems with their associated applications. The first operating system that's running on this uh, hypervisor is special. It's called VM0 or DOM0. And um, you know, it, it basically allows you, it's basically you know, the user app. It's acting as the user app for you uh, in, in the hosted, uh, uh, hosted VM architecture. So uh, for example, I'm showing here three different VMs. The first two VMs are Zen Linux. So they are modified versions of Linux which can run. So they are para-virtualized Linux kernels which will only run on the Zen hypervisor and will not run anywhere else because they are specially tuned to the modifications of para-virtualization. The third VM I'm showing here is basically a, a Windows operating system. And this is possible. I mean, so Zen also supports hardware. So after 2006, because hardware virtualization uh, is available on architectures, then supports running unmodified operating systems uh, on top. Okay, very quickly, uh, client virtualization. Um, so this is, I mean, we, we talked about how virtualization is a very effective tool in servers. Uh, you know, it's giving us a lot of different uh, 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 goodies. Um, but you know, there are there are very uh, there are interesting ideas even in the client virtualization world. What I want, uh, I mean. Maybe I would, in future, you can imagine a world where all of our laptops and the desktops are loaded with a virtualization layer. Why would one want to do that? Well, uh, one of the reasons is management. You know, for example, you could have a virtualization layer which, uh, in an enterprise, which is uh, taking care of all your software management. Uh, you can also imagine the same thing for homogeneity. You can have, you know, uh, the IT department of an enterprise today needs to configure each and every machine. Uh, with its exact firewall configuration, security mechanisms, and so on. Rather, let's have just a one VM image and let the uh, which uh, and let the uh, let the IT guy configure that one VM image, which we call the gold image, and slap it on to all the different uh, uh, desktops, which is implementing a virtual machine monitor and, uh, and uh, below it. Okay, uh, security. So this is something you know. I don't know if you heard of the VMware ACE product, you, uh, just like you have a virtual private network, an enterprise would like to have a secure virtual machine such that all the disk contents, for example, for that virtual machine remain encrypted. So this encryption and decryption can be implemented in, uh, in the virtual machine monitor. Mobility. So there have been experiments on being able to you know, do mobility. So can I carry my virtual machine in my pocket on a USB stick? And uh, um, it's possible. Uh, the question is, is it practical? And uh, you know there are startups like Mocha Five who are trying to do this. And the bigger picture uh, in client virtualization, I would say, is can we have a desktop as a service, right? So I can go anywhere and I can have uh, uh, you know type in a command, uh, type in a URL, and be able to see exactly the desktop as I left it in my office. Uh, that would be nice. Okay, uh, very briefly, what we are doing here at IIT Delhi, uh, you know, we are interested in virtualization. We think it's uh, it's it's a path-breaking technology. And uh, we are interested in client-side virtualization uh, and trying to see what its potential is. So uh, we're starting with developing a client-side virtual machine monitor. And uh, we're doing it for performance. So we are implementing lots and lots of compiler optimizations inside a virtual machine monitor. And we're using binary translation to be able to do this. Uh, we are uh, implementing security inside our virtual machine monitor. And uh, our, our VMM is installable on an existing OS. So one of the reasons why uh, you know, client side virtualization. One of the roadblocks in client side virtualization is the migration. So if if I can inc inc uh, install it incrementally on an existing OS, that would be good, and uh, it should be completely transparent to user. So with these goals, we are trying to develop a VMM. Okay, so that's the end of my talk. Thank you. Any questions?